climactic moments of the Democratic Convention. In Los Angeles, months of politicking reached the moment of decision as candidates are placed in nomination before a Democratic National Convention that reflects a party tradition of hard infighting despite a steamroller drive by Senator John F. Kennedy. Late starting Senate Majority Leader Lyndon Johnson poses the principal challenge. After his strong showing with solid South support, he was named vice presidential candidate in a bid for party unity. But from the start, the man to watch was a hard-running senator from Massachusetts placed in nomination by Minnesota's Governor Orville L. Freeman. To lead us to a fruitful America, to a peaceful world for mankind everywhere, is the great senator from the state of Massachusetts, John F. Kennedy. But the front-runner faced the challenge of another popular Democrat, nominated by Minnesota Senator Eugene McCarthy. This favorite son I submit to you, Edney Stevenson of Illinois! Stevenson's nomination touched off one of the convention's most spectacular outbursts. Among his supporters, Eleanor Roosevelt and New York's Governor Lehman two of the party's most prominent figures. But on the balloting, it's a Kennedy landslide. Mr. Chairman, Wyoming's vote will make the majority to Senator Kennedy. Before the first ballot is completed, Wyoming clinches the Kennedy triumph with the deciding votes. A tremendous first ballot victory, and the new standard bearer makes his appearance. In our devotion to this country, we wish to keep it strong, and we wish to keep it free. It requires, at this critical time, the best of all of us. And I can assure all of you here, who have reposed this confidence in me, that I will be worthy of your trust. We will carry the fight to the people in the fall. And we shall win! Yeah.